What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So in the last video, I kind of mentioned that the Audi is starting to have some overheating issues. So the first step is going to be to cool, uh, to pressure test the coolant system just to make sure I'm not losing coolant somewhere. Um, that way I can see if I have a leak in the system. But I'm kind of suspecting that the reservoir itself, I'll show you guys, is kind of starting to produce like a, a, a pressure crack or something like that between the lower reservoir and then the hose that leads into it. So if we go over here, <clears throat> you can see that my coolant level is dropping and it's going by like a half an inch every time I kind of take the car out. Um, so there's that little hose down there. You can see it right here. Um, I noticed that whenever I move the reservoir, there's like a drip that comes out of here. So I think it might be time to replace this hose and then the reservoir itself, but I just want to confirm by pressure testing. So I've got the reservoir filled up to its appropriate level and then I'm going to basically screw in this cool device that Alex let me and basically you hand pump pressure into the system using this guy right here. This uh, screws on just like that. Bah, 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 bah. Boom. Perfect. And now I basically use a hand pump and bring it up to the appropriate pressure. So I did kind of a small test real quick just to see if it holds pressure at a lower PSI because I haven't found the exact value what the pressure should be at. So I started at 10 PSI in the system and the pressure started to drop about one PSI every 15 seconds. So I definitely have a large leak somewhere. And I started to know as I pressurized it, coolant started to drop. So then I started to hear some like dripping noises coming from underneath the supercharger, uh, kind of near the water pump and thermostat area. So I started to look back underneath to see if I'm uh, losing some through the intercoolers like I was last summer. And unfortunately, it's kind of hard to tell, but down underneath the supercharger, um, you can kind of see some pink coolant down in there. Unfortunately, that kind of might be the end for uh, the supercharger or the PCV system because there is like coolant that runs through that valley. So unfortunately last time I did replace uh, the whole supercharger I bought I used one with only 30,000 miles and the intercoolers were still intact. I pressure tested this one and everything held pressure great and then I also put a new PCV system and a thermostat. So at this point I'm not sure which is the exact failure point but it's going to be time to start the surgery on this thing. I need to take off the supercharger which we will do today. Um, and we will see kind of where that leak is coming from. Um, and unfortunately, that's the game, I'm running a lot of pressure through the system, so. Here we go. So I've got the splitter completely removed so I can have the car up in the air and be able to have access to the coolant system from underneath. Uh, my next step is gonna be to completely drain the coolant system just because I don't want any more uh, coolant leaking into the valley under the supercharger here. So I'm gonna drain this completely and then we'll get started on taking off the supercharger. So I found the most effective way to drain out the coolant system by using the metal, the two that come out of here, they kind of go down into a metal tube and they Y and split right here. So I take this one off right here, take that off and let it drain into a bucket. And basically since it's at the lowest point in the system, you're able to get all that gravity to help flow and push out the coolant. So it makes it way easier, a lot of less work, and you don't need like a special tool for it or anything, just some basic pliers. And you can have that thing off and drain the coolant. Well, if anybody wants to buy an S4, $1 because uh, round two supercharger failure. We have, as you can tell, coolant building up in the third cylinder here. Uh, luckily, all the other intake ports are super clean. I caught it soon enough, um, but there's all the coolant in the reservoir. Uh, so basically, what that indicates is that the intercooler um, on the bank one uh, is failing. So back here, the intercooler has a pressure crack or a heat crack or whatever you want to call it and it's leaking coolant straight into the intake port. Um, so uh, failure from the supercharger part two. So this means many things for the Audi. Uh, I think I'm going to first look for a used supercharger like I did the last time but this time I'm going to make sure that it's going to be a healthy one. I'm going to pressure test it uh, again, make sure it holds pressure. 
Um, I did just clean out the intake port. Uh, I cleaned it with kind of a pick and then just paper towel cleaning it off slowly. And then I might look into the option of a ported blower, rebuilt everything with new intercoolers, just because I really don't want to have to deal with another used one. So I think that's going to be it for today's video. There's unfortunately not much more I can do at this point other than go on the internet and kind of look for a replacement supercharger or an intercooler. I haven't quite decided on what I want to do to kind of fix the car, get it back on the road right away. Um, I'm leaning more towards saving up a little bit of money, waiting, and then buying a ported blower that has been rebuilt. So that way I know that I'm getting, one, I'm getting more power out of it, getting some more airflow, and two, I'm getting a supercharger that was rebuilt, more uh, redone the, the bearing service essentially, and more fluid in there. Um, uh, the intercoolers will most likely still be used ones, but at least there will be more air flowing through them, hopefully cooling them so that they don't crack uh, like this has happened to me twice now. So um, like I said, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Not too much more information to share with you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I didn't because my car is broken now, but uh, I do have some cool f stuff coming up for the STI this weekend. Some parts are coming in tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.